Monday was a bad day for stocks everywhere, and France's CAC 40 index was no different, dropping nearly 5.5%. It was the fourth trading day in a row with major losses, as the exchange has lost a whopping 12% of its value since August 19th, or nearly 170 billion euros. Investors may be realizing that if China can't carry the global economy, France and the Eurozone have chosen policies which have left them totally unprepared to pick up the slack. Four years of austerity in France have kept the country's economy just tenths of a point from recession. The Eurozone has still not reached its 2008 economic output levels, proving that there has been no economic recovery. A lot of capital left France during the sovereign debt crisis. Hollande flip-flopped and said that the finance was not his enemy, and he has totally protected businessmen and corporations. The negative results have been quite clear. No jobs have been created by the hundreds of billions of euros in government handouts in the form of no-strings-attached tax cuts. Taxpayer dollars have not gone towards funding research and development improving the nation's economic fundamentals, or boosting the average person's standard of living. They've gone into the pockets of the rich elite. They say that the profits of today are the investments of tomorrow, but that's not the way corporations act anymore. Profits are awarded to a small portion of investors, while inequality has grown over the past 30 years, especially in the last five years. Stockholders were enjoying boom times, and now they're asking if Europe is on the brink of another crisis. For the average person, however, the crisis has never gone away. If stocks continue to fall, will France's public tolerate even more welfare to the investor class? That may depend on just how badly the rest of the week turns out. Ramin Mazahiri, Press TV, Paris.